discuss the difference between the linear power supply and the SMPS that is switched mode power supply so each power supply is having a specific advantage and disadvantage and depending upon the application requirement the type of the power supply needs to be selected so the factors to consider while selecting the type of the power supply is circuit design if we take SMPS the circuit design is very complex but if you take a linear power supply the circuit design is simple part count the part count in SMPS is high compared to the linear power supply ripple so ripple is high in SMPS uh, compared to the linear power supply efficiency is very uh, high in SMPS this is one of the important advantage of SMPS so you compare to the linear power supply so this is achieved because this in SMPS the switching elements are operated either in um, saturation or cutoff region whether that is on or off so because of this the dissipation is very less in SMPS compared to the linear power supply transient recovery is very good in a linear power supply compared to the SMPS electromagnetic interference electromagnetic interference is one of the disadvantage of uh, switching switch mode power supply because the switching elements are operating at a very high frequency this will generate both conductive and radiative interference in order to um, reduce this to a safe uh, limit so various filters like um, incoming uh, uh, filter capacitors and at the same time uh, proper shielding is to be required for reducing the radiated interference and the size and weight of the SMPS is very less compared to that of the linear power supply because it operates at a very high frequency because of this high frequency the size of uh, the magnetic and filter components um, drastically reduces so linear power supply if you take it regulates the output voltage by dropping the excess voltage in the series dissipative component so the v input voltage of uh, the linear power supply should be always greater than the v output and any excess voltage is dropped across this uh, linear element linear uh, uh, control element so but the linear power supply having advantage like very little ripple and very little output noise compared to that of the smps so if you take these are the different um, linear power supplies so series regulator and is also shunt regulator so the depending upon the position of uh, the control element whether it is in series whether it is in parallel so series and uh, shunt regulators are classified so this is the transistor so uh, which will be used as a uh, control element in the um, linear power supply so if you see the voltage across uh, the collector emitter is VC and the current uh, across the collector uh, uh, th sorry collector through the collector is IC and these are the different uh, three different uh, reasons of uh, the transistor and this we come to know from the output characteristics of the transistor if you see in, in saturation region the transistor is fully on so the voltage drop across the transistor is very less so and similarly if it is in cutoff region that is transistor off so the color current through the transistor is very low and the voltage drop across the transistor is very high so whenever the transistor is operating in this region the dissipation is very less whereas if you take in linear power supply the transistor is operating in the active region so there is a linear relationship between the um, collector current and the voltage drop across the VCE. Suppose if the output voltage of uh, the linear power supply is high, so the collector current um, is decreased, so the voltage drop across uh, the switching element is increased. Where if you similarly if uh, the output voltage is um, low, so the collector current is increased, so that the drop across uh, the switching element is reduced so the excessive element is dissipated across the switching element and this is calculated as p is equal to vc into ic and this dissipation causes a lot of heat and because this is one of the disadvantage of uh, the linear power supply which decreases the efficiency and also because this heat this heat to be dissipated in some way so heat sink is um, required this heat sink will increases the size and weight of the linear power supply so this is the linear supply linear regulator uh, block diagram so the incoming ac power um, is converted uh, is uh, converted to dc by using a transformer and a rectifier and then it is filtered for removing the unwanted ripple and then this is fed to a regulator so for converting for achieving to the desired output and then finally it is fed to the load
so this is the transformer bulk transform because it is operating at a 50 hertz the size of the transformer is very high this is one of the reason for increasing the um, weight of uh, this linear power supply rectifier and filter so this it, filter uh, component size also will be bulky because it is operating at uh, 50 h or 60 h so this is the circuit diagram of uh, the typical uh, linear power supply the ac converted um, are stepped down uh, to the required 0 to 9 volts then it is rectified by using bridge rectifier then it is filtered then fed to a 7805 regulator which gives the required 5 volts dc output so this is the um, linear ic regulator so if you see the excess uh, voltage is dropped across the transistor q1 so and this is, um, dissipation is uh, is converted to heat where it is uh, dissipated uh, by using uh, a heat sink this also increases the weight of uh, the linear power supply so some of the examples of these linear regulators are 7805 7812 7815 7905 7912 and 7915 so this is the block diagram, typical block diagram of switch mode power supply. So the incoming mains is uh, fed to an EMI filter. This is one of the requirement for switch mode power supply because these um, switching elements inside a power supply are operating at a very high frequency. This causes a lot of interference, conductive and radiative. So for eliminating the conductive interference uh, across the line, so EMI filters are required. And for uh, eliminating the radiative interference, shielding is required for the switch mode power supply. And then it is fed to a rectifier where it is converted to a, a DC signal and then unwanted ripple is removed by using the filters. Here um, after filtering, so the DC signal is again chopped to a very high frequency signal in the order of kilohertz to megahertz range. So why this is done? Because at a high frequency the size of the transformer that is inductive and rectal, sorry filtering component is drastically reduced. So it is converted to high frequency then it is fed to a transformer the transformer is having two advantages one is isolation at the same time it can have multiple outputs and then it is rectified filtered and then um, so for controlling the for having better line and re, uh, load regulation so the output is uh, com continuously monitored and it is uh, controlled by using controller so if there is any um, decrease in the output the controller will take necessary action for increasing the output so this is the block diagram so this is uh, ac signal is uh, rectified and then a filter is fed to is a high free switching element where the, the dc is converted to a high frequency ac and then it is fed to a power transformer so the power transformer will again output is again rectified and then filtered so for having better load and line regulation the output is continuously monitored by using a control circuitry against a difference so whenever any decrease in the output so the control circuitry will increase the duty cycle of the switching element duty cycle uh, will uh, increasing the duty cycle means increasing the on duration of uh, the switching element and if the output voltage is um, high so the control circuit will decrease the duty cycle that is it will decrease the on time of uh, the switching element so advantage of uh, the smps uh, power supply is efficiency high efficiency low weight and um, uh, small size and is having multiple outputs disadvantages are electromagnetic interference complex design and transient response is poor compared to linear power supply even though this is having disadvantage because of so many advantages so smps is dominating the power supply field thank you for watching my video